Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to bring data to the front uh, in a chart in Excel. So first I'm going to show you for just a line chart where both the data sets are lines. So in this case it's really easy. Uh, so I'm going to click on the chart, I'm going to go to design, and I'm going to select the, uh, go to select data. And you can see right now that the orange line is on top of the blue line. And what if I want the blue line to be on top of the orange line for some reason? I can click uh, line 1 here and I can move it down. And then you'll see a change, and now the blue line is on top of the orange line. So that was simple enough. Uh, so that's fine. Now for line and scatter, it's a little bit different. If we try the same thing, I'm going to click on here again, go to Design, Select Data, and I'm going to go in, going to go in here, and you can see that the scatter data is on top of the line data, but I really want to see the line data on top of the scatter data. So I'm going to try what I did before, and I'm going to click on Move Down, and you can see nothing happens. These switch places, but nothing happens. I'm moving it. I'll move it up again, and you see they switch places, but nothing happens. So what you can do is you can take the line data and move it to a secondary axis. So it'll move the data, it'll move this y-axis to over here. So if we double click on the line, I'm going to double click there, and it'll bring up the series options. Right now it's on the primary axis, which is the left axis, with the scatter data plot, or scatter uh, data set. I'm going to move it to the secondary axis, which moves it over to the right, like that. So now you can see that it's actually on top of the scatter data, but I don't want to have the secondary axis because it should be the same as this. So one thing, so I'll show you how to get rid of it, but first let me just show you something that you need to be careful of with the secondary axis. If I double click here, here are the bounds. If I move this bound to zero, and click enter, you can see that it's on a secondary axis and they're differently scaled so that this data set uh, even though it does correspond to this data set, set like you saw before with a different axis, now it looks like it's smaller. So you really have to be careful when you're doing the secondary data axis to put uh, the same bound. So I'm going to go back to 0 0.85 like that. And now they're scaled the same way from 0 0.85 to 1.01. .01. Okay, so what else can you do then? Uh, you want to get rid of this. So I want to get rid of the numbers and I want to get rid of the tick mark. So if I double click this again, uh, the first thing I can do is I can get rid of the tick mark. So I'm going to go to the fill in line section under axis options and the fill, I want no fill and I want no line. And you can see it got rid of the, uh, it got rid of the tick marks here. The next thing I want to do is get rid of the number so I can go to text options and the text fill. I just want no fill. Now the, these are gone. Again, you have to be careful here though because uh, now they're invisible. If you change, uh, you can change this. So if I double click here. If I change this again to zero, now you can see the data set has uh, reverted back to the to what we didn't want, but you can't tell what the scale is here. So you would look at this and say, oh, that might be right. But you really have to be careful. So you have to double click on here and make sure that you have these correct. So I'm going to change it back to 0.85 like that. And now you can see that they're on the same axis and they correspond to the same thing, uh, the same numbers, and that the line is on top of the scatter. All right, thanks for watching.